So today I want to talk about conditional operand selectors. This is a condition where you've got two operands and they're separated by a logical operator, either AND or OR in between. And you want to find out what's the result going to be. Now these first four, they're pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty logical. True and true. So you're thinking, well, if both of them are true, I'm going to get true as a response, and that's going to work out fine. False and true. You look at this and say, okay, they're not both true, so false is going to be the answer. True or false, I'm going to get true. False or true, again, I'm going to get true. And that all makes sense. And when you're dealing with Booleans, it's quite straightforward. The trick comes when you start putting other things into the mix. When you start using numbers or you start using uh, strings, that's when things can get a little bit different. So let's take a look at this one rendering. I'll bring it up in the console here and we'll run this. And there we are. True, false, true, true. Makes sense. Okay, so we're good for that one. Now moving on to the next. We'll uncomment these ones. So now I'm dealing with integers and booleans. And you might think, again, zero and true. Okay, well, zero is a falsy value. Uh, one is a f truthy value. So this is going to be false and then true. This might be your guess. False, true. And then here, both of them are false. So we're going to get false and... For this one down here, one or true, uh, yeah, we're going to get uh, true for that one as well. Now, if that's your guess, makes complete sense, but that's actually not what's going to get rendered. So let's do this again. Zero, true, false, one is what we're getting. And that's why this is called a conditional operand selector, because it's choosing one of the operands. We're saying zero and true. When you've got an and in here, what it's actually going to do is it's going to look at this first value and say, is this thing true or false? If it's true, this is what I'm going to render. If it's false, I'm just going to render this. So zero is going to be our answer because the and looks the first and if it is falsy renders the second if it's true it renders the first so it wants to give us one of the two things that's what it's doing it's selecting one of these two things here it's truthy so it says okay sorry if it's truthy <laughs> <laughs> Got that backwards. Here, it's truthy, so it's going to render the true. Here, falsy. Now, it's doing one or the other, so it's going to render the first one that's true. So, is this true? No. No. Okay. I'm going to render this one. It's the last in the sequence. Here, is this truthy? Yes. Okay. Then we're going to render that. Make sense? Okay, so that's the next grouping. So let's apply this same logic to our next grouping here. Looking at the two values, is this truthy? No, zero is not truthy. It's one of the uh, seven things that are not truthy, that are falsy. So this is falsy, therefore it's not going to render this. We'll be stuck with this. It stops at the point. With an AND operator, it stops at the point where I can't progress. This isn't true, so I'm not going to progress, but I've got to give you something back, so I'm going to give you the zero. The next one, one and text. Is this truthy? Yes. Okay, I'm going to continue, and this is going to be what I render. Here with the OR, this is falsy. So I can't render that. I'm going to continue on to the next one. Text. OK, 
Okay, that's what I'm going to have to render. Here, is this truthy? Yep, okay, that's what I'm going to have to render. So we get zero. We get text. Text. And we get one. All right. And then onto our last grouping, when we're combining Booleans with this, which if you're using Re uh, React, this is more likely going to be the case that you get. This is the conditional rendering that you'll use in React. And this is why you have to make sure that whatever you've got first is going to be a Boolean. You want to use a Boolean. So we've got false. This thing was not true. So that means I'm not going to move on to here. I'm not going to render this because this was false. But I have to give something back, so this is what we give back. True. And, okay, this one was true. We move on to the next one. Text is what we're going to render. And then for the next one, false. We have to keep going because it's an or. This is what we render. Text. And then for the final one, true or text, well, the first one was true. We don't have to continue because it's an or, so we will render true. Now, this is, I'm saying render, and I'm writing them out in the console here. But in React, React, when it's building components, there's only certain things that it will render. When it comes to primitives, React will render 0, 1, so it'll render integers. It'll render null, and it will render strings. And it will not render booleans, which brings us to our close this up here, brings us to this last case. This is what you typically do in React. You've got a Boolean and then your component. So if the answer comes back as false, and you've got an AND here, this is a typical thing in React. If you've got false, this is not going to render. This is what's get, getting returned from the statement, but React does not render Booleans, so it just nothing will show up. It will also not uh, render undefined. Null. Oh, sorry, there's one other here. Uh, not a number. Will actually render. So Boolean's null, undefined, empty strings, and also empty arrays or objects. So if you've got an empty array, an empty object, an empty string, null, undefined, or Boolean, if any of those are the initial value in here, and you're using the AND operand, this one right here, then nothing will be rendered on the screen. If it's a Boolean that is true, then you're going to get to here. Or if it's a value that is truthy, you will get to here. And that's what will be rendered here. All right, so I hope that helps you out, both with your understanding of the AND OR operator and conditional rendering, and also in React with conditional rendering. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.